Ladies and gentlemen of Confidential Cinema, we are on quote unquote season two. And before we get started there, we are automatically want to start off with the congratulations to our season one champion who actually is playing in this match. How uh, how better to start a season off than actually have the champion playing? And that is Jake Marangoni. He's going to be in the red corner. Let's put him in the red corner. So Jake, this is a match, no title on the line. Kind of, we're going to run this more like movie fights, where this is the regular season, kind of like sports, where you're you're technically a champ, but you don't worry about that until later. So, how do you feel going into a you know a season match, but you know nothing technically on the line? I like a good game. Uh, these are great competitors I'm going up against. Uh, one of them particularly I've never faced, and I would just I've always wanted to face this uh, this competitor. Uh, he knows who he is, and I'm looking forward to this match for that reason. Uh, I am the champ, and uh, luckily my belt's not on the line because these two competitors could take it from me any good day they have. Uh, so I'm just looking for a good time, and uh, yeah, prove that I am the champ. There you go. And uh, next up, we're going to go to the blue corner, and we're going to go with uh, my arch rival, Ryan Premason. What's up, buddy? You uh, you ready for a slobber knocker, as you would like to say? <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily one of my Ryanisms, but yes. I am very much looking forward to this match. It's great to be back. It's a new season, new matches. Uh, anything can happen. The possibilities are endless. So this is going to be exciting. I'm looking forward to this, and uh, I wish my competitors the uh, best of luck, and it should be fun. There you go. And last but not least, over in the, I think it's going to be Black Corner, we are going to go to uh, Caleb. Prince Joffrey, as we all know him over here in Confidential Cinema. What's up, young man? Um, I am very excited to play Ryan for the third time in, in Confidential Cinema and beat him for the third time in Confidential Cinema. Um, and I'm excited to finally face Mr. Marangoni. Uh, so let's see how uh, I can fare against, uh, against the maestro. Um, and I'm very excited to uh, win the first match here of uh, Season 2. There you go. All right, so as you guys see, we have a triple threat going on. So how we're going to move on with Season 3 is we're always going to be doing triple threats. So, uh, gentlemen, what you're going to do is you want to win because the way that the rankings are going to go is going to be points-based. Every win is going to be worth two points. Rack them up as much as possible. But guess what, gentlemen? If you come in second place, there's still something on the line. You're going to get a one point towards your ranking. So every match has stakes no matter what. So... You might be a little afraid of Jake going into this match, but guess what? You can still, you know, have something to win for and still fight for, you know, a potential. You don't have to worry about a loss on your record. So you only get losses if you're in third place. So with that being said, gentlemen, do we have any questions? Oh. Nope. The chance to go. Here. All right. So as, <laughs> as always, we are going to start off with a face-off. So don't worry about the board quite yet. Jake, you'll be A. Ryan, you'll be B. Caleb, you'll be C, because Caleb starts with a C, right? Uh, not my name, but yeah. <laughs> I like what you did there. All right, are we ready? Sure. Yeah. Yes, sir. Remember, call it your or letter. Who plays the title character in Logan? C. A two. I got C. B. Uh, that would be Hugh Jackman. That is correct. One point. God. All right. So, uh, Mr. Coho, if you have any... Uh, um, you know, ties going in or whatever you can choose if you want to go first, second, or third. So with that being said, gentlemen, we are going to go into round one. And since Caleb, you went, you got that. I'm going to let you announce what you chose your uh, strength to be. Um, seeing as the rules have changed, I can no longer pick singular films. I had to go with a franchise that I knew Ryan would never watch, and that was the Pirates of the Caribbean. Whoa! Yeah. All right. Speaking of Ryan, what are you picking? Uh, I also went with a franchise that is a heck of a lot better than anything you're going to get in the four sequels that we got to Pirates of the Caribbean, and that would be the Hunger Games franchise. <laughs> Woof, he's he's hungry for uh, a win. Only two good movies in that franchise, but okay. All right, and uh, the, ch the champion, what did you choose for your strength? I went with the three greatest comedies ever made, and that is the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy by Edgar Wright, which is uh, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and The What's End. So it's, it's not the Godfather <laughs> trilogy? <laughs> The Godfather. <laughs> uh, all right. So as you guys know, that there's going to be three questions from each of those categories, and there's going to be one's uh, chef special, which is just random stuff, something that I wrote that I'm going to try and cook together a strength for all three of them. So we'll see if it works. So with that being said, we are going to start off with the first question, which is going to be from the Cornetto trilogy. What is the name of Sean and Ed's roommate in Sean of the Dead? Oh, Shoot. 
I just watched this for the first time recently, too. First of all, you need to watch it 100 more times. Second of all, do you remember? Five, four, three, two, one. Jake. I said Ed. I had no idea. Would that be funny if there's two Eds? It'd be funny if there's Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Caleb. Um, I said Rich. And Ryan. Peter. I will accept that. His name is Pete. His name is Pete. Oh, wow. Oh, jeez. Right. Wow, okay. <laughs> that is how you guess. I just rewatched that scene as well. That is how you guess. <laughs> wow. Uh, Peter from the, the Godfather trilogy, apparently. <laughs> All right, next question. Over to Hunger Games. What is the nickname given to Katniss in the first movie? Um, I actually like the first two movies a lot. Wait, repeat repeat the question. All right. What is the nickname given to Katniss in the first movie? Five, four, three, two, one. Caleb, what do you got? Katniss Everdeen, the girl on fire. All right, and Jake? The girl on fire, but she didn't play with fire. And Ryan? <laughs> The girl on fire. Nice. Clean sleep. Yeah. All right. Next question from Pirates. What person from the MCU has a role in Curse of the Black Pearl? Good question. Thank you, man. That's how I roll. I had to run down the cast list in my head. <laughs> Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Going to go to Kate Ryan. Who was this? This is Ryan. No, Caleb. This is Caleb. Yeah, it's, my, Caleb. it's my strength. <laughs> uh, Zoe Saldana. That's why I went to Caleb first with the Hunger Games. I fucked that up. Uh, I guess Ryan didn't have it. And uh, Jake. Yep. No idea. Ooh, so Couldn't Caleb, Caleb, Caleb if takes the lead. If I used to repeat, maybe I would have got him. No. Caleb takes the lead. Could at least guess a, a star. All right, next question. Going to jump back over to Cornetto. What actress cameos as Nicholas Angel's ex-girlfriend Janine in Hot Fuzz? Oh, shoot. This is literally a, if you don't know, <laughs> you're not going to know. I've seen this movie twice. This is my favorite of the trilogy. Why can't I remember? Yeah, this is the best one. Uh, hot take. Not my favorite. Please pay for set. I was 55 when I was actually 53. Five, four, three, two, and one. Markers down. Jake. Uh, Australia's own Kate Blanchett. All right. And Ryan. I, I said Haley Atwell. And Caleb. <laughs> Oh my god, I scribbled Kate, I scribbled Kate Blanchett. Wow. <laughs> wow. Jeez. All right. Jake ties it up with Ryan at two and Kate. Not even gonna challenge four. Yeah. I know it, it looked like a P, but I'm it's a P. <laughs> I'm not even gonna challenge. It looked like Geppetto or if, something. If it definitely wasn't Lanchette after, we would have issues, but it's clearly Lanchette, so I don't care. Because guess what? I don't care. All right, going back over to uh Hunger Games. What is the first movie to see Mahershala Ali in the Hunger Games franchise? He's in the franchise? Ooh. Yeah. I you didn't know this? No. Oh, it's true. It's And damn. that's why I wrote it. It's it. Hold on. Best one I saw Ali in was uh, the Predators. Five. Four. Oh, that's three, right. He was in Predators. That's two, right. I just rewatched that, too. One. Ooh. Ryan, since this is your strength, and I got it right this time. Hunger Games, Mocking J Part 1. All right, Caleb? I uh, said so the Hunger Games, Mocking J Part 1. And Jake? I had two, and then I raised it out and put one. Mocking nice. J Part 1. Jeez. Clean sweep, man. When you went, it's not. It's just when it, you threw it's that, the most e educated. When you threw that Predators reference in there, I was just like, uh, maybe... That shouldn't say any comment on that because it's like around the same time period. So I was like, oh, I probably shouldn't comment on that. Not really. It's four years. Before the first Hunger Games. Yeah, Mark, Mocking J Part 1, what year did that come out? 
2014. That was 2014, and Predators really? was 2010. Wow, I thought that was yeah. earlier. I don't give a shit about that. I thought you were the Not this franchise, movie? apparently. Movie release dates. Back over to Pirates, another franchise I don't give a shit about. Ugh. What is considered to be a myth in On, Strangers Ti- On Stranger Tides? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Dude, On Stranger Tides. Because I have so Which much ones? respect for you guys, I'm going to eat a brat. Wait a minute. Strain on stranger ties is the okay. I think I got it now. Five. All right. Four. There we go. Got it. Two. One. Caleb, your strength. Uh, is it the Fountain of Youth? Jake. It is the Fountain of Youth. And Ryan. The Fountain of Youth. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be one of those where, like, are these two easier? You guys doing really, really well. We shall never know. Bit of voice. Next question. <laughs> final one in Cornetto trilogy. Final movie of the trilogy. What is the nickname of Gary King's car in The World's End? <laughs> oh, man. As I eat my sandwich. Okay. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Jake. So she was Harry, the beast. Ryan? <laughs> I took a, I said D'Artagnan. What? And Caleb. I said Team Me Too for the win. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh. Man. That's like, that was so two years ago. God, seriously. Why are you keeping that? I'm, I'm in a match with Team Me Too for the win, man. Yeah, Team Mez. <laughs> There is the... Th- whatever. God. Final question that, in Hunger Games. What is the name and title of Do- Donald Sutherland's character in the franchise? Oh, 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 oh. This is the best way I could word this to... Don't overthink it. Let's just put it that way. This is the best way to word it without, you know, whatever. In first and last name? His name and his title. So don't oh, overthink okay. it. Don't overthink oh, it. Oh, good. Five. I was going to say, I don't know the first name. Yeah, five, four, well, three, actually, actually two, do. one. Jake, put your marker down. All right, Ryan. President Coralina Snow. All right. <laughs> and <laughs> Caleb. I just had President Snow. And Jake. I had Chancellor Palpatine. <laughs> it, was, it was President Snow. Yeah. Me too, tied at five. When he said it, it was like, ah, oh, yeah, Snow. All right. so I would have gone president. Caleb with a two point start. lead, and uh, Ryan ties it up with Jake. Five. Final question in Pirates How many movies in the franchise has Kira Knightley been in? Ooh. Oh, man. Shoot. I may, have over- I may overthink this one. I don't know. I hope you do. Five. Shut your, shut your face, Joffrey. Four. Three, two, one. Make me, me too. Caleb. <laughs> uh, that would be four. Jake. Fantastic. Four. And Ryan. I said four. That's correct. Clean sweep. Nice. All right, final question in the round. Chef's choice. Oh. One that I try to, you know, mix up and uh, combine a strength. Oscars. Of its nine nominations, how many Oscars did Raiders of the Lost, Lost Ark win? Holy cow. Uh, of its nine nominations. And I'll, it's five, one, four, three, one of the other. Two, one. I'll start with Jake. I believe it's four. Ryan? I said five. And Caleb. I had four and I erased it and put three. One of you was right. It's Jake. It is Jake. No, it was four. Man, I was one off. Brooklyn Vale sandwich. So what you're telling me is if Caleb did not get that face off, somebody else, potentially Jake would be in the lead because Jake or Caleb is in the lead eight to Jake seven to Ryan six. So with that being said, we are going to jump over to the wheel. Caleb. Do you want right. to go first, second, or third? I would like to go third. All right. Jake, you're in uh, next place. Now, 
Because you like to go second, or do you want to go second. first? I like going second. There you go. Mm-hmm. So, get, Ryan, how, how good are you at math? Exceptional. When do you think you're going to go? I think I'm about to go first. That is correct. See how it goes. All right. Okay. There we go. Yeah. It's a you good guys. pattern to follow there, Jake, always going second in your matches. I, I, I've seen your foot. I've seen like the footage. It. I've seen the uh, footage, man. You watch, you you watch each other's game tape. I, I watch the game tapes. Oh, yeah. All right. I have a study. You guys know study. the categories. Let's go. Yep. Boom. That works for me. Hopefully this doesn't break and I don't break my finger like I did last time. First spin. First spin. Get out of here, dog. We don't need your background music. Ben Affleck. Hmm. And your second spin, because as we now, we do two spins in season two. So you get to choose between Affleck or Woody Allen. Great. Oh, you can really Oh, let's go. All right. Oh, man. It's a couple categories I like. All right. Suicide spin. Let's do it. There it is. First. First. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna risk it. Oh. And I hurt my finger. So. <laughs> and you will be stuck with Oscars. Yeah, baby. C- congratulations, yeah. Jake. Congrats. I mean, on the bright hey, side, he, he, under Smith, Caleb. He All right, Jake. He let's see. Get, let's you know, see how many steals we can get collected. I don't care yeah. what Caleb does. I, I just know you're gonna get all. Team Mez is over. It's now Team Oscars. Yeah, Team, team Co Oscars. Oh, I should have stuck. I should have stuck with Bad Fleck. Should have stuck with Bad Ben Affleck. Gosh darn it! <clears throat> all right, your first question. Remember, yeah. um, write down your steal chances if there are any. But I have faith in Ryan. Singing in the Rain was nominated for two Oscars. Best Music and What Else? Multiple choice. Is it A, Costume Design, B, Director, C, Lead Actor, or D, Supporting Actress? Uh... Five. Four, three. Costume design. All right, let me give a quick five count for your opponents. Five. We've got it. Four. Yeah. Three. Like I said. Two. One. We're going to start with Jake for a potential one point steal. Best supporting actress. And Kate. Uh, D, best supporting actress. Both of you are correct. Oh, Should have gone with that. Yeah, choose how it goes and get it wrong. Should have went with the right one. Second mm. question. Toy Story is nominated for two music-related categories, and what else? So, of its three, two of them are music-related. What was the third? First. Right, Toy Story. Uh, God. Multiple choice. Is it A, animated feature, B, screenplay, C, best picture, or D, editing? Can I hear the options one more time? Animated feature, screenplay, picture, editing. Best picture. All right, five count. Five, mm. I'm four, confident that we got three, two, one. Caleb. Uh, that'd be best original screenplay. And Jake. Best screenplay. There we go. Josh Whedon was nominated, by the way. Yeah, Josh Whedon right, yeah. uh, wrote the screenplay. Good for him. Along with seven other people. <laughs> oh, so yeah, with like, <laughs> including movie, like Andrew so. Stanton, John Lasseter, Pete Docter. All right, Ryan, your third question. What was the only nomination for Mulholland Drive? Ooh. Jesus, <laughs> multiple choice. Is it A, best picture, B, best director, C, screenplay, or D, costume design? I don't. I don't freaking know. Best picture. All right, five count. Five, <clears throat> four, three, two, one. Jake. Love me, boy Lynch. It'd be best director. And Caleb. Of course it is. Ooh, out of I, out of lockstep. I said D. Costume design. Yeah. It was director tie game for Jake and Caleb. Mm. Falling out of lockstep. Your uh, fourth question, Ryan. 
Mahershal Ali yeah, yeah, yeah. won Best Supporting Actor in Moonlight. What other acting performance was nominated? In the movie. Oh, in the same. Oh, in uh, yeah, the same movie. From Moonlight. Uh, Sorry, my, this my is record. very recent. So me and Jake probably watched the Just, ceremony. Uh, mm -hmm. Multiple choice. Multiple choice. Is it A. Naomi Harris? B. Trevante Rhodes? C. Ashton Sanders? Or D. Janelle Monae? <clears throat> Naomi Harris. Oh that is God. correct for a point. Wow. Okay. Best supporting okay. actress. There you go. Okay, Lost to Viola Davis for Fences. Mm. She was great in that. And they both had a really good snot face. Final question. The Graduate won only one Oscar despite being nominated seven times. For what was it? For what did it win? What did it win? That's a darn good. That's a really good movie. A multiple good choice. Question as well. Is it A <laughs> best song? B, best score, C, screenplay, or D, director? Best screenplay. Five count? Five. Mm. Four, three, two, one. Can't remember who went first last time. Let's go, Caleb. Uh, A. All right, and Jake. Best director. For the lead, to Jake. Mm. Best director. Bye. Jeez. Mike Nichols. Mike Nichols. Is Wait, good. we literally talked about this on the Kohoskis. Yeah, we did. <laughs> it's a really good movie. Ah, uh, shoot. So are we saying I'm decent at Oscar questions? Sweet. Shoot. Yes. I guess. I don't know. Uh, we are going to go to... It went, went the other player's way. I didn't get anything except this is one true. little question, but whatever. All right, we're going to go to Jake now, who has a one-point lead on Caleb and a, uh, a little more than one on Ryan. Oh, yeah. Uh, perfect yeah. round. I would have gotten and Oscars, if I got Oscars. Oscars is now going to be swapped out with Tarantino because we are going to do no blank spaces on the wheel anymore. Okay. Yeah. So Tarantino is up to bat. Now I'm really hoping I get some steals. <laughs> All right. I would have been perfect. 10 for 10. That sucks, but hey. First, mm -hmm. first spin of two. At least you got those steals. Yeah. I don't like the glare. <laughs> there it is. I can I can't see it by the way. Yeah, none of us can see yeah. the wheel by the way. Well, I'll move it. 90s comedies. Okay. Yep. That's better. <laughs> Just move the bit to your right and we can see the wheel. Spin from the wheel, not the pegs. And Woody, Woody Allen. Allen. Ooh. Oh, Take Woody Allen. Do it. You won't. He said you won't. See, I've seen a, a good Woody Allen on the spot. Five. You know, what? let's take four. it. Let's take Woody Allen. Oh, Woody Allen. Andy. I'm nervous. Congrats. I reckon. Let's just have, let's just have I'm fun. nervous. Let's hope we get some steals here, Caleb. Oh, you guys. Oh no, I'm not steals. getting any steals. No, that, there's a, a zero percent chance you guys are gonna steals. I don't even think he might not even get any right. I don't know. <laughs> First question. What historical figure is plotted to be assassinated in Love and Death? Oh. Wait, why is? Ryan writing down. Oh, yeah. if he knows hmm. oh, no, I'm saying if you know that, I was just roasting you. Five. Okay, I have multiple choice. Is it A, Albert Einstein, B, Napoleon, C, Abraham Lincoln, or D, Genghis Khan? Oh, not what I thought. Can you repeat the choices, please? Einstein, Napoleon, Lincoln, Genghis Khan. Is that Napoleon? That is correct for a point. Jeez. I was going to say a Stalin. No, nah, they made a comedy about him this year, though. His death, his death is Stalin. Get it? Looks good. Same question. What MCU star stars in Match Point? Hmm. Scott Joe. That is correct. Yeah, Scott Joe Hansen. When I was writing films. when I when I was writing this with Mike, I was like, if Jake gets this one, he's gonna be the only one that knows that easily. Everyone else, this, this would be a good question. So I was just hoping you wouldn't get it, but you did. Third question for Mike. Shout out Mike. Colin Farrell and Ewan McGregor star as brothers in what Woody Allen movie? Cassandra's dream. Wow, Mike is jacked. Two points. Jeez. Next question. What DCEU star has an early role in Whatever Works? Ooh. We got an MCU and a DCEU. Ah! Superman himself, Henry Cavill. Wow, two points. Wow. Yeah. My future wife's in that film. Lucky bastard. And your final question. 
What does Harry suffer from in deconstructing Harry? Uh, multiple choice. Is it A, writer's block? B, being a mama's boy? C, dyslexia? Or D, two left feet? <laughs> Those are good choices. <laughs> um, repeat the options, please. Writer's block, block, being a mama's boy, dyslexia, or two left feet? I'm going to say B. All right, five-second count for your uh, opponents. Five, four, three, two, one. Caleb. Should guess that C. And Ryan. A. I was late to the match because I had writer's block. That is correct. One point steal for mm -hmm. Ryan. Wow. I thought that'd be way too obvious. <laughs> <laughs> it was. I thought it was writer's block, but Total I thought that was guess. too obvious Total as well. Guess. It was. All right, so Love Woody... These films, characters, are just something from writer's block. All right, so <laughs> Woody Allen is now off the wheel, and uh, Ryan didn't take Ben, so now we're going to add Casey Affleck. <laughs> and it is time for is Caleb's cool. spin. I'm ready. Get out of here. All right, here's Dog spin. making a cameo. <laughs> First spin. Casey. <laughs> and your second spin. Would it be funny if the next one was Ben Affleck? <laughs> <laughs> it was the whole Affleck family. 90s comedy. Risk it all. He's going to risk it all, folks. Love it. Suicide spin, man. And you are stuck with 90s comedy. <laughs> well, let's go for it then. <laughs> All right. All right, gentlemen. Same rules. Don't forget. Five seconds. First question. How many dicks does Dante find out his girlfriend sucked in Clerks? Oh, um, my God. What the heck? I think I know what it is, but I'm going to go multiple choice to be safe. <laughs> is it A, 0, B, 21, C, 37, or D, 69? 21. Five seconds, gentlemen. Five, four, three, two, one. Ryan, how many dicks did she suck? <laughs> uh, D? <laughs> All right, 69, bro. And Jake? In a row? 37. 37 is correct. One point. Oh, I put 47. Man. I for a second there, I, I thought I actually got it I thought it was 22, right. but, ah, uh, 37 dicks. My girlfriend sucked 37 dicks. In, in a, a row? row? That is ridiculous. Yeah, in a row. Second question. <sighs> Who directed Basketball? Tim Smith. Tim Smith. Wherever you are, fuck you. Multiple choice. <laughs> is it A, David Zucker, B, Peter Farrelly, C, Peter Seagal, or D, Michael Lehman. Peter Farrelly. Five seconds, gentlemen. Five. Uh, four. Three. <laughs> two. One. Jake. I knew it was someone from Zaz, and it was David Zucker. And Ryan. I said B. Ooh, it is the Zuckman. Yeah. Guy who helps create Airplane. Should have gone with A. Mm. Darn it. Third question. Lance Perkins is the host of a TV show within what movie? Can you repeat the question? Lance Perkins is the host of a TV show within what movie? TV show. Multiple choice. Is it A, Wayne's World, B, The Nutty Professor, C, Home Alone, or D, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective? I was thinking Wayne's World before you said it, so I'm going to say Wayne's World. Gentlemen, five seconds. Oh, God. Five. Four. Can I have the choices, please? Okay. Yeah, can I hear the options again? Wayne's World, The Nutty Professor, Home Alone, Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Okay. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Rhino. <laughs> B. All right. And Jake. B? It is B, Nutty Professor. Ooh. Is that the, the workout guy? Yep. Yes, I can. Yeah, Tim. I, you know, 
I should. I, I thought that in my head, and I was like, wait, but he, is he the host of a TV show? Okay. <laughs> I guess he is. Fourth question. In Father of the Bride, who plays the father? Steve Martin. Martin. That is correct for two points. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, that's that was, a good question. That, that, was, yeah. that was a good. That was a good question for me to get right now. Good, <laughs> He's like, good gaming, my man. It's a good softball, but yeah. Well, I needed that though. I will say this: at this point, Caleb, as long as you go to multiple choice, Ryan is knocked out. Cool, because he is down eleven. Ooh. So. Great. And Thanks for being here, guys. <laughs> it's just good to be I mean, here. You never know. He, he might. He might. You'll see. This question doesn't necessarily want to make you want to go to multiple choice. Your fifth question. Currently down eight. Sad. Sad. What school subject does Sonny teach both Julian and the delivery man in Big Daddy? Multiple choice. All right. So, uh, <laughs> Ryan, <laughs> have a good life. <laughs> Is it A, math, B, Spelling, C, history, or D, science. By the way, I was kidding. You still get to play, right? Because if, if you get it right, my math was bad. Can you hit the options one more time? Math, spelling, history, science. Oh, math. Shoot. Gentlemen, five seconds. Uh, five, no. four, three, two. One. Ryan to stay alive. C. And Jake. I believe the spelling. Hip hip hop. Hip hop anonymous. We have a knockout in season two. Ryan, you get zero points, my man. And Caleb, at this point, you are guaranteed at least one going into the rankings. That is correct. You want me to leave now? Because I can. No, you can stay. You can stay and watch. You can commentate. And you can stay mic'd on, because fuck it. Going into uh, the third round, usually this would be uh, two people, but unfortunately, uh, Rhino, Rhino got Rhinoed. He got Giamatti'd, so uh, he hit, he got hit sideways. All right, so Jake, you are in the lead. Please pick three numbers: one through twelve, in any order. One, five, three. One, five, and three. And Caleb. What's the through again? Twelve. One to twelve. Twelve. Negative one hundred okay, through twelve. 12. Uh, four, seven, ten. All right, Caleb, uh, you got some work to do. Okay. Remember, same same rules before. You um, do the points yourself. First category from four westerns. Two. All right. Two. Or the one, whatever. Well, it's it's two. It is two now because we okay. got vote. We got voted. So Caleb, you get to say two. All right, Caleb. Yeah. Good. For two. Not a not do or die yet. Okay. What object is King Schultz carriage shaped like in Django Unchained? Wait, say that again one more time. What? What object yeah, is King Schultz carriage shaped like in Django Unchained? What object is the carriage shaped like? Shut up, Jake. I'm trying to remember. I haven't seen it in a while. Oh my god. Pumpkin. It's a tooth. It is a tooth because he's a dentist. Thank you. Yeah, it's a I dentist. Really couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. All right, now we're Fight in. Do or, me. Now we're in. Enemy is a guy named Candy. Young man, now we are in do or die situations. Okay. Your next category is seven, which corresponds to war movies. Guess that'll be the three. You should have balled out instead of the five, just to potentially add points. Because you have to hit them both anyway. All right. For three, and to stay alive. John Cassavetes plays a wisecracker in what 60s war movie? John Cassavetes, wisecracker. Five. Four. This is a very attractive face, Caleb. Three. Two. Repeat it. John Cassavetes plays a wisecracker in what 60s war movie? Five. 
four, three, two. Congratulations, Jake. Mash. One. Caleb, you have 12 points. You could say that that is a dirty dozen. Jake Marangoni is the very first winner, and he gets a TKO, which means... And a knockout. And a knockout, which means he's actually going to have a few points on his. So he gets two points for the win, one point for the TKO, and one and two points for the knockout. So uh, we're, we're going to have to do some math there. And Caleb, you get one point. Well, you get two points. No, you get one point plus a knockout. You get three points. You still get points because you – no, the knockout's not you, so you only get one point. Okay. So you still get one point, though. Okay. We're working on it. Math, though. But with that being said, Ryan, you were knocked out first. How do you feel? Gee, I don't know. How do you think I feel? Um, not happy. Not happy at all. Uh, not, 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 not a good way to kick off 2019 at all whatsoever. So I don't know when I'm going to be back, but I hope to be back real soon because I need to get some wins on my uh, record because I do not want to go out uh, losing every single match. So uh, definitely want to come back very, very soon because I am hungry for victory and I need some revenge. So. There we go. All right, uh, Caleb, you uh, second place finisher, one point in the in the standings. How do you feel? Uh, feel all right. I didn't come last. Didn't lose by knockout. Still beat Ryan. Everything's good. Um, so I'm doing all right. Uh, it's Jake. He got Oscars. I was fucked as soon as he got Oscars, uh, or as soon as Oscars was spun, and uh, and you know Jake did really well with it. I mean, it did help Ryan. Uh, we did. Them all. Pre- we stayed in pretty good locks. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't know if I, I really needed Geek or Tarantino in round two, but who I knows? Hook you uh, up and I could you just couldn't two, spin it. So we'll see. This is true. Yeah, uh, but you know what? Uh, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. I'll this be back. Um, Caleb, I do want to wish you a f- friendly reminder. You were winning after round one. All right, Jake, how do you feel after <laughs> your <laughs> after your uh, big old victory? Oh, he's not wearing pants. <laughs> Give me a sec. He is not wearing pants, ladies and germs. I am wearing pants. They just show up. What is this? Call me by your name. This book helped me out. Thank you, Woody Allen. Uh, yeah, it really came down to round two for me. Uh, I didn't even have to answer round three. And round one, I was not in the lead. Caleb is a really good competitor. And if he's on a good day, then I say watch out. Uh, but round two really helped me out. Ryan got my strength and Oscars. I would have got 10 for 10. Perfect in that. But... Luckily, it helped me get in the lead. Caleb missed a couple, uh, and I got all, all the questions, all the steals. And then came to round two. I went with Woody Allen. I was a little nervous. I mean, I've seen a good share of Woody Allen films, but and I do know a lot about them, but there could be plot-specific ones that could uh, get me in the ass. And uh, luckily, there was only a couple that I needed to go multiple choice on, uh, but everything else I knew. Like, I, I love Match Points, my favorite Woody Allen films, one of my favorite films. Ever, I know whatever works pretty well because my future wife's in that and Cassandra Dreams, I know a little bit about that, who's in that. Uh, it helped me and it got me the victory and uh, yeah, I'm the champ for a reason. I think I'm now, what am I, am I six, six and one now? Is my record still yeah. there? You, your it's lifetime record, one. yeah. Yep. So. All right, so with that being said, real quick recap. What do you guys think of the, the concept now moving into the season two? Ryan, real quick. The new format concept uh, and design of the standings and everything. I think it's uh, it's an experiment. See how it goes. Um, seems to be okay for now, but I lost bad, so I'm not sure. really happy right now. But I just hope <laughs> to be back, game points, and get up in the standings because I do not want to be at the bottom of this freaking barrel. But um, yeah, it's a decent format. We'll see how it goes. I'm trying to dig you up uh, some slack there. And uh, Caleb, real quick, what do you think? You, you're in uh, multiple leagues and c- clubs now. What do you guys think of this new uh, concept? I really liked it. Um, I like that we can't pick one movie anymore, despite me, you know, bitching and moaning about it at the start. Uh, because, <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, it, 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 it was getting to the point where, like, you know, me and Lucas, when we played, it was La La Land versus freaking. Um, the dictator the campaign. So it's like uh, yeah. if you if you haven't oh, yeah. seen that one, if you haven't seen that one movie, it's difficult. Um, but it was really fun doing franchise wars with these three uh, for round one. Uh, I won the franchise war. Uh, but true. you know what? It's it's just it's it's uh it's hard when you're playing the most accurate person to ever step into a fan league because ninety seven percent today. Shut up, Jake. Anyway, <laughs> it's good. good there you go. And Jake, you uh you were the champ in the other iteration of you know how we did it and now you're First season yeah now you're starting off here how do you how do you think that's going to help you moving forward and do you like the concept of kicking all their asses but them still getting a point if they come in second um i do like that it also means that 
there are more chances to earn a victory. I mean, coming second is still a victory, especially when it's a three-way. It's okay. it's all it doesn't matter if you're first or second. It's just you shouldn't be last. That's what it really should, should come down to. And I like that. Yeah, something like that. Oh. Um, I am I'm a little skeptical with round two. You only get two spins. I like having the the variety, the uh, decisions. Uh, I like three because that means you can really have more to choose from. But I understand that decision and. I think it's good. I just want to defend the belt, like actually really defend the belt, because I ain't the champ till I defend it. At least that's how I feel about yeah. it. So, well, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. We shall see how that goes. So with that being said, as always, I'm Henry Confidential. Thank you these three competitors for going, and thank you to Mike Hanley for helping me write some of these questions. Most of his questions didn't get asked, but, hey, he still helped me with that. So with that being said, Henry Confidential, Confidential Cinema, we are out.